Hi there, welcome to Scrap and Coffee. Today another Scrappy Basics video and I'm going to uh, walk you through uh, how we are going to attach flaps onto our pages. So in our previous Scrappy Basics video we made some base pages and we made uh, two kinds. One was like a tunnel page with openings on both sides. And the other one was made out of one piece and it had an opening on one side and on the top. I'm going to start, I'm going to use in my album, I'm going to make two different pages. So I'm going to use the tunnel page twice and I'm going to use this page twice. But I'm going to start with the tunnel page. So I have some flaps here um, prepared. Um, when it comes to a flap, you will always have one score line and I always do it half an inch away from my cut edge. So I did that over here. Here I have a piece that measures uh, six and a half inches high by five and a quarter inches wide. And I made a score line at half an inch. So when I fold it over, the piece will be four and three quarters and that will fit perfectly on top of my base page. Now nine out of 10 times when you are attaching a flap, you will place your, when you're using double-sided tape, you will place it on the dented side from your score line. Like this is indented, here it's bumpy, and you will place your double-sided tape uh, on the dented side between that cut edge and that score line. And I will show you one. I'm going to use my wet glue today for attaching my flaps because I'm running out of my 3 8 of an inch tape. This is quarter of an inch, but I don't recommend quarter of an inch tape for your construction personally. When I place the tape, I'm going to line it up with the edge. I'm going to stay closer to the cut edge than to my full, my score line. So I'm just placing it on there and I'm just ripping it off, cutting it off, whatever you like. So as you can see, I'm stay, I stayed closer to the cut edge than to the score line. So that's nine out of 10 times where you will place your double sided tape or your wet glue on that dented side. And also we are going to fold on flaps. Most of the times you will fold towards that bumpy side. So when I have my bumpy side up, I will fold inwards towards that bump. And burnish that fold, of course. So then when you attach the flap, you will attach it with the uh, flap folded in. Tape is on the outside and you will attach it on top of your page. But for this piece that I showed you in the beginning, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to place my glue on the bumpy side and I'm going to uh, fold also towards the bumpy side. So if I make the fold. Then I will have my glue on the inside of my flap. And why do I do that? Because I'm going to use my base page and I'm going to place it into that base page. Let's see that I made the wrong cut? No. So that's uh, 9 of 10 times you will place your tape on the dented side, but this is a, um, a reason to place it on the bumpy side. So for this, I'm going to taper my half inch flap. And what is tapering? It's cutting away a little corner out of your uh, hinge flap, your half inch, in order to make it go so in somewhere easier, so when I'm placing it in my binding page, it will go in there easier, it will fit in there. Or to hide my construction. So when I place it on here, and I didn't taper it yet, and I would, I would place it on top of the page, and I'm going to place my piece of pattern paper, and I always stay away one eighth of an inch away from the borders with my pattern paper. So then you will see this half inch flap sitting here and I don't want that. So that's also a reason for you to taper that half inch. What do you do when you taper? You get your scissors. Here I have my score mark and I'm going to place my scissors up against that score mark and I'm going to turn my scissors in and I'm going to cut and then I've cut away a little corner of that half inch. So just a little piece and I always start cutting at my score line. So I'm going to place my scissors at my score line, turn my scissors inwards and cut. 
I never cut it from the cut edge of my inch towards my uh, score line because when I'm not paying attention I have a slight chance of cutting through the score line and I don't want it. So I always start at my score line. It's just something that I I always do it and at a certain point it will just uh, you will just do it without thinking about it. So now I'm going to fit it if it if it fits in there without any glue on it. So if you would place tape now, if you would use double sided tape, you would place the tape on the bumpy side of your piece. I'm going to use my art glitter glue and I'm just placing it a little bit on that flap. Just a little quicker for now and also because I'm running out of that 3 eighths of an inch tape. And when I place it in there, you always want to see your score line. You don't want to go over that score line. So press it down. I will show you, you are still able to see that score line that I've made. Get rid of that extra glue. Oh, I'm making one big mess. That's why I always use double sided tape, especially on camera. <laughs> <laughs> now when I fold it in, it will fit almost perfectly on top of my base page. I know it's going to be a little short on the side, that's because I'm folding it over and not placing it on top. And we glued it only to one side of our base page, so we still have that opening here that we are going to use to attach the page on top of our binding system onto our hinges. So. The second piece that I'm going to attach, because we are making a mini album after all, is a piece that measures four and a quarter by six and three quarters. Again, I've made a score line half an inch from the cut edge on the six and three quarter inch side. And I'm going to fold towards that bumpy side. And this one I can do rather quick because there's not much special about it. So I just like to taper my flaps um, just to hide that construction because sometimes I'm not really sure what's going underneath there or uh, what I'm going to do with my matting process so I just want to make sure that I'm not able to see it on the end of the project when it's done. So um, this one I'm going to place on top of my piece so you would place your tape on the dented side in this case in the glue and then fold it toward the bumpy side and I'm going to place it with the glue on top of my flap that I've just attached onto my base page. And this piece is a little uh, smaller and a little, uh, well, a little smaller than the base page. So I'm making sure it's centered. I have about a quarter of an inch on my sides and a quarter of an inch on the bottom. And I just like to Give that flap a little burnish, make sure it really sticks. So what we can also do is when we open this up, this page, we are able to attach flaps on the inside of our, here is our fold. And I have two pieces that measure three and three quarters by four and a quarter. And on the three and three quarters inch side, I've made a score line at half an inch. And I'm going to fold towards the bumpy side on both of those pieces. And again, I just like to taper these because I don't know what's going underneath it. And I just want to make sure I'm not able to see it. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you know you are going to place a whole piece of pattern paper on that page, then you don't need to do it because you will cover it. You only really need to do it well, that's my opinion at least, when you are placing a flap that's going over the whole length or the whole width of your page that you're attaching it to, when you put it from end to end, that's when you really need to do it. So again, a little glue. And now I'm going to attach it on the inside and I have a fold line here and I want my fold to go properly after I attach my flaps. So it's important for me to stay away from that fold line about one eighth of an inch. And I'm going to place these pieces a little off center 
about a quarter of an inch away from the top and the bottom. So this is something that you just need to eyeball a little bit and I'm going to stay away from that fold line about one eighth of an inch. And I will do that on both sides. Again, stay, now I'm staying away a quarter of an inch from the bottom. Again, one eighth of an inch away from the center of the piece where the fold line is. And place it on there. So I will show you up close how I've stayed away from that middle part. And where I'm able now to just close it up. Without um, any resistance. So now these pieces, I can lay them like this. Like this or like this. And here you are still able to place your pattern paper on top of those half inches. To give it, this page a little bit more interest, I'm also going to place uh, two more flaps. These measure four and a quarter, four and a quarter by four and three quarters. And on the four and three quarters inside, I've made a score line at half an inch. Fold towards the bumpy side. Now this is the piece that I've used to place my double sided tape. I'm going to remove that parsley, the backing of it. And now I'm just going to place it on the cut edge of the page, off center with the first piece that I've placed. Again, I'm going to place it here about a quarter of an inch away from the bottom and line it up with my cut edge on the left. And that's how you do it with the double sided tape. And what I didn't do is I didn't taper my um, half inch. No, not a big deal because I'm not going from end to end. So it's okay. But I will do it on the other one. It's just a personal preference. I'm going to fold towards the bumpy side. Place my glue on here. And on this side, I'm going to line it up with the top or a quarter of an inch away from the top and the cut edge. And I, this is my binding side. So I'm going to stay away a little bit from that binding side as well. So about a quarter of an inch away from the top and about one eighth of an inch away from my binding side. And just stick it on there. Because also when you place this page onto your hinge and you have an additional uh, pocket on here and you are going to um, flip your page, then it will uh, catch on to it a little bit. Your page won't flip really nice and you, and you do want it. And also your opening of your flap, you just want it to lay as flat as possible. So that's why you uh, need to take that in uh, account with placing your flap. So now this, I can uh, I can just play around with it, what, what flap I want to have on top and what flap I want to have on the bottom. So I'm just going to do it like this for now. So that's the flaps on the first page. We are going to attach pockets on here as well, but that will be another video. On the second base page, so now I have my base page with the opening on the side and on the top. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to ex like, um, have the piece that measures six and a half by five and a quarters. And I had that score line at half an inch. And I'm going to place my glue on the bumpy side. I'm going to taper these. And I'm going to place it in that base page again. I'm going to fold towards that bumpy side. And place that glue now on the inside of my flap. So that if you use the double sided tape, you would do that on the bumpy side. One side only because we need to remain the opening for our hinge. So now it's a little bit more difficult with this page because it has opening on two sides. So I'm just going to shove it in there, make sure I'm still able to see my score line. And then stick it down. 
and see again I'm still able to see that score line and I'm able to fold it over onto my base page and what this, what this is doing is giving me an extra page because this is like one page two pages and I'm still having the opening for my hinge and this is not a problem when you place it onto your binding this is just fine because here we had to stay away from it a little bit but that's because I'm placing it on top of my page and here because I'm placing it in the page I can do this and it's no problem for my hinge and I'm laying flat of my page also on this page I'm going to open it up now I'm going to do the same thing that we did on the other page with the flaps but here I have some bigger flaps these measure uh, four and three quarters by six and a quarter so maybe you see a little pattern here I'm making flaps that will fit a photo size perfectly with a one eighth of an inch border on there again I'm tapering these flaps folding towards the bumpy side of both pieces and I have all my little pieces from the tapering line here so get rid of that so again I'm going to place these with my uh, half inch on the folded side so I need to do the same thing on as I did on the first page. I need to stay away from that fold edge about one eighth of an inch. This time placing your tape or glue on the dented side on the outside of the folded over flap. And I'm just lining it up, staying away. It's about one eighth of an inch from the top and bottom and one eighth of an inch away from my center, from my fold. And make sure it really sticks and I do the same thing with the other piece again staying away one eighth of an inch from top bottom and my fold and trying to get it straight and if it's not completely straight well no biggie It will still look pretty good. So as you can see, I've stayed away from that center. So this is the flap we have attached. These two flaps. And with little effort, we really are making something quite nice. Now I'm going to flip it over to the back side. Now I have my binding piece here on the, on the right side. And I have two small flaps that I'm going to attach. And these are three and a quarters by four and three quarters and on the four and three quarters inside I've made that score line again and again just to be sure I'm going to taper and I was lying to you I said it was three and one quarters no it's three and one eighths because if uh, the page is six and a half and I want to have a little bit of spacing between my flaps I will show you in a sec so then you just adjust the size of your flap a little bit So because I've made this 3 and 1 8 and I'm going to attach it here on the back side of my page, now I can stay away slightly from the bottom and with the other piece slightly from the top and I will have a little spacing, a little smaller than 1 8 of an inch in between my flaps and that's what I like, I don't want them to catch on to each other. So again your tape or glue goes on the dented side or on the outside of your folded over half inch and again because I'm here on my binding side I'm going to stay away from that edge about one eighth of an inch so it's pretty hard this way to get it on there straight but like I said don't be too hard on yourself you will notice it when it's off a little bit but other people they won't see it Well, unless you're like really crooked, but. <laughs> and the other one, slightly away from the top edge, 
slightly away from the other flap and about one eighth of an inch away from my hinge from my uh, binding side and you see i'm not completely straight with my flaps either but that's fine with me and now when here you can see it when i lay them next to each other there's a little bit of spacing in between them and that's what i want so that's for attaching the flaps and tapering the half inches of your flaps so in the next video I we will be attaching pockets onto these pages and I'm going to do a normal pocket, a stack pocket, and a pocket with an angle. Oh, and a pocket on top of a flap. So that we will, but that is what we will be doing in our next video, in our next Scrappy Basics video. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day.